Minister of Works and Transport and uh, is the port of the Maitri Initiative, which I will, I, I'll be calling upon everybody to support as a way of uh, reestablishing and rejuvenating our government. Um, we we have uh, partners who are coming on board, and Centenary Bank is one of, is one now which, which we are going to be discussing with. Um, and I want to welcome the the CEO of Centenary Bank. Good evening, General, and good evening, our viewers and listeners. Hello, can we get, can we get on the, can we continue? Who's uh, ca can you please introduce yourself? Um, the CEO, thank you, General, to the, to the public. Yes, uh, Joseph Balikudembe, John my names, and for clarification, General, I'm not the CEO, <laughs> but the executive <laughs> director of Signal <laughs> Bank Uganda Limited. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. Glad to see and listen, hear your voice once again. And looking forward for to a fruitful engagement around our environment, especially during this time. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, you are welcome on this. I want, on behalf of uh, my tree initiative, uh, to welcome you to welcome Centenary Bank. Uh, and we, I'm glad, and we want just to, as, as you have rightly said, you, do, you should you wouldn't have joined it at this effort at a, at a more opportune time than now when the environment is giving us all kinds of challenges as we can see so i want to welcome centenary bank in this effort uh and uh, we are looking forward to a great partnership as uh people are willing to reestablish uh, 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 tree planting we have we, we want to, much as we are looking at the whole nation, but you, you start somewhere. So our view is that we'll start with the, wanted to start with the, the Northern Bypass. As you can see, the Northern Bypass was well made. It's a nice road, but it's missing one element, and that's the environmental, uh, the, the beauty of having trees uh, planted along that road. So we have a plan of planting about 300, uh, uh, well, we're talking about a million trees, but whatever number of trees can be allowed, uh, which we can be allowed by the, 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 the UNRWA as the owners of the road. So we'd want, we want, we welcome Centenary Bank to be partners on this. And I don't know what, uh, what you feel, uh, whether you'd find this as, as, as a welcome idea is it something Centenary Bank would be interested in? And we, we were, if, if so, then we're looking at somewhere around the 30th May that we have an activity with the Centenary Bank um, putting itself out there as a big player. Uh, thanks, General. We, as Centenary Bank, actually, true, we tree planting is something that we engaged in. We have what we call the corporate social responsibility that helps us look at also and run it through the, how do I call it, three categories of uh, the environment, social and governance, mm. and under environment. We have already even actively started tree planting, among other things, mm. uh, in Western Uganda. Mm. And the discussion around planting trees on the Northern Bypass is something that we're welcome to engage ourselves with. Mm yourselves yes okay 
we we were looking at uh, at one like one of the intersections for example and you, and you brand it you brand it as centenary centenary bank uh, intersection mm -hmm. and then we have uh, this activity done there and and we ensure that the trees are conserved and they're protected and then because one of the challenges we've had is that we plant them and they don't grow and yes but we think that if we have a, a prayer like centenary bank uh, saying yes, this is our intersection. Then it will just go. It will go beyond just planting the trees. But we shall centenary bank with us. will ensure that the, uh, the the you know the trees grow. Very true. Yes, I think one of the problems around the tree planting exercise that we are having as a country is that a lot of focus has been put around putting the seedling in the ground. <laughs> That's true. Mm -hmm. It ends there. Nobody comes to check on it tomorrow or the other day to find out. Whereas it is very, at, at that stage, it's very critical for its growth. And so taking care of that particular sibling or young tree mm. is crucial for its growth and eventually the sustainability of the environment. Mm. And yes, we'll do everything we possibly can to support in this. Thank you very much. So do, do you buy into the idea of having one of the intersections branded as Centenary Bank intersection we definitely love to look at it with uh, my colleagues in the corporate the unit that actually the handles mm. our corporate social responsibility mm. discuss out the merits and the merits it could be more than one intersection yes depends so it is something <laughs> i want to look at and come back to you as, as soon as possible okay yeah but does uh, is that status may look to to close for this to happen you, you it, would time. Time. it would be too close it would be too close yes because because also our, our challenge is also timing the weather time yes uh, because uh, we need to have um the the proper the proper conditions to enable those trees to grow fully i agree with you on that yes mm. so probably if we can have something to discuss by monday mm. Probably by about Tuesday Wednesday there will be a response. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I would not I would not be <laughs> I would not be challenging you all. Uh, you know, the, uh, uh, wanting to, as you are saying, this is a matter which we are going to discuss. I think through that discussion, you'd also come up with uh, um, how much are you willing to commit to this cause. But uh, I would also say that beyond this, beyond the. Uh, um greening the, the northern bypass i don't know whether centenary bank uh, invests with the as customers who invest in other components of them of uh, tree planting for example agroforestry uh commercial tree planting uh, that has centenary bank interested itself in some of those other than just this one because this is just a, a like a, a corporate social responsibility but does the continental bank go beyond that does it go beyond that in terms of uh, tree planting and re, um, forest regen regeneration for the country yeah okay at the moment scenario bank does not engage and our license wouldn't allow us to engage into tree planting mm. as a means of commercial for commercial purposes but we do finance mm. that, that, that's, yeah that's what i was looking at do you yes, finance? We finance our clients yes mm. so who are engaged in agriculture mm. in all forms of agriculture as long as they are part and parcel of supporting the environment mm. yes and they're acceptable mm. among the crops that are licensed then we have no problem mm. oh, okay as a, in this now in this direction of the tree of uh, what we are talking support of my tree initiative uh, what what would be what would be motivating you to, what would be motivating centenary bank to, to support it is it is it you also your issue of environmental concern is it uh, do you think it's, an, it's because is it ethically just something you think is ethically right to do right now what would be what would be your motivation i think the motivation is first and foremost as centenary bank we believe in sustainability we believe in the continuation mm. of our economy, our continents, the livelihood, the human 
and everything else. So trying to do these things as, yes, it might appear more of corporate social responsibility, but the fact is that we are doing this to ensure that we have a customer tomorrow. Yeah, that's true. If, yeah. yeah, if they are not, if we are not doing this, then there will be no customer tomorrow. Mm. The bank, there will be no purpose for the bank things. So it's about ensuring that we have a sustainable environment, something where our clients, our employees, us, shareholders, everybody can live freely mm. in a more sustainable way. Not something to do in the short term, but something you can live for generations to come. Right. Okay, that's very good. And now. Uh, are there any people, any other, any other people in the studio who are waiting to join us? Have anybody? Do we have anybody who is willing to join us on this discussion? I can see somebody has joined in. Yes, uh, yes, General. Yeah. We just have a few comments from the audience. Mm. A few questions uh, that we are reflecting on the screen. Can you can you get closer to your mic, please? We don't hear you. Yeah. Hello. We seem to. Hello. Yes, General. I hope you can hear me now. I was yes. saying that we just have um, a couple of questions mm. from our viewers. Uh, Aulia Paul is saying that what are the potential benefits associated with implementing and financing environmental sustainability? And uh, we wanted to direct that to the executive director of. Yeah, we, we, don't, we don't get you properly. Your mic doesn't. Your voice is coming in cuts. Can you please stabilize? I can see the question here also. What are the potential benefits associated with implementing and financing environmental sustainability from mm. one of the viewers? Okay. okay as uh, he gets uh, with a clear voice, maybe we can start addressing this. Mm. around the potential benefits i think the most the most important benefit here is ability to see tomorrow mm. when you finance or associate yourself with uh, environmental sustainability what you're assuring yourself is that tomorrow will be existent tomorrow will be there we'll be able to breathe normally mm. well and see the people we are going to see and the future generations mm. finding mm. this earth probably better than we will be have left it so that is the first and the most important benefit mm. but even of late we are they are creating financial benefits yeah. around nuclear and in uh how much carbon you have that you're yeah. releasing in the trees you're putting yeah. in there and even the, the fact that, yeah. yeah even the fact that you're planting trees they have commercial use mm. after some time these trees can be sold off yeah of less and replant others so i think they the overall benefits uh, outweigh any other alternative that can be available. Mm. Yes. And, and also, you know, adding more on that, to that is that uh, even what we enjoy today <laughs> at our generation, uh, most of the fruits, the avocados, the, 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 the fenes which we're enjoying, we didn't plant them. No. It was planted by possibly our fathers, our mothers, and and I think the the, the the we we shouldn't leave the environment more destroyed than the way we found it, because I think we are more enlightened, we are more exposed, we know more about the benefit of environmental protection than possibly our forefathers. So mm. for the benefit of this world, as we are saying, we should leave it better than how we found it. And and when you see the kind of destruction we have done, it's very very un, un, unbelievable. And yet as i'm saying we are more informed about the dangers of environmental degradation very true very true and the onus is basically on all of us and i think yes central bank 
would be interested in doing this, but would want more partners to come on board and join this because mm. this is more of a global cause than a single area, single region. What we are seeing, for example, today in Uganda, yeah, we, we pray it is not the beginning, <laughs> or just a warning to us that we need to act now than wait yeah. for tomorrow and the other days. That's true. So I'm in argument with us. Mm. Um, would, would, would Centenary Bank uh, look at some, uh, other than just what we're talking about, uh, which we're going to discuss, mm -hmm. do you find other ways in which Centenary Bank could in encourage its customers? Uh, even, for example, just with the, what, what, on your, each customers on your birthday, when you're celebrating your wedding, when you're celebrating any event, in your, as a as a customer, please plant a tree. Would, would that kind of a drive? Uh, would Centennial Bank be, look at that as part of what could be um, indirectly influencing the regen regeneration? That would be a welcome idea. Mm. We have to wish wish each and every client of us of ours a happy birthday when, as and when it comes to. So maybe something we can add in our communication to them. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. True. There's another question I see there, General. Uh, mm -hmm. What is the Ministry of Works and Transport doing to protect the environment? Ah, okay. Well, the Ministry now is part of the. We, 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 we have we took, when we took on a, a policy which is like a global policy now, which, we, which is called green growth. The Ministry of Works is responsible for infrastructure development. And in the process, we destroy the environment. Now we are saying uh, we must be able to plant trees. And and actually, what we have done in uh, our in our agency, UNRWA, which is responsible for road development in the country, there is an environmental uh, department which is responsible for even raising those seedlings which we are supposed to be planting along the, the you know the motorways along all our roads. The, uh, the challenge, as I said, is us planting them, but having them grow. <laughs> yeah. Because we can't be at every inch of the road to ensure that the tree we plant it grows. Now, it's also Im embedded in the contracts we make with all the contractors. On every uh, road constructed, a con the contractor is supposed to plant trees as part of the, uh, the, the re his responsibility, as part of the contract. But again, the challenge remains enable, uh, uh, those trees being able to grow. I, uh, you, if you look, if you drive along Mobende Mutiana Road, you'll, you'll realize that there are a lot of mango trees along that road. Those mango trees were planted way back when that road was being made by Enago projects. Now they have yeah. much. Uh, we, are, we, are, we have tried to implement the same along Masaka Bukakata Road. But the problem is that and the public let, allows the goats to go on and feed <laughs> <laughs> the young seedlings before they even reach, reach knee height. So mm -hmm. I think also need for us to continue the education, the yes. education body that whatever tree you see planted along the road, it is it's for your benefit. It's for the benefit of the of the of the bigger community beyond beyond. The, don't look at it as a, a, a contractor's tree or a minister of works tree or UNRWA tree, but it's our mm. tree as a nation. Yeah. That is very true. Mm. Uh, we have another question I'm seeing right here. How can Maitri Initiative team influence Centenary Bank and other financial institutions to prioritize environmental protection in their working companies? I think <laughs> this is... Uh, that falls on your lap. <laughs> yes, it falls on my lap. And honestly speaking, it's not my three initiative team to influence mm. in our bank and other financial institutions. I think this is a general, everybody's purpose and mm. concern. Mm. I am very certain that all, if not the central, all, all other banks have picked up this. And environmental protection is something that is being monitored or followed up all the way up to the uh, regulator bank of Uganda. Mm. So. Mm. The, Population shouldn't worry that the financial institutions will not be able to prioritize. It is something we're doing. Senar Bank is doing it out here. Yes, I'm mm. very sure even other commercial banks will follow through our financial institutions. Mm. If we're already on the journey, yes. 
I, I, maybe again, as we we're saying, we could uh, could as well. Uh, uh, for example, right for us in the ministries now, before you get your budget approved in Parliament, you must prove that you have the gender parity. <laughs> you have addressed gender issues. Maybe we should also look at how we can take it beyond just making people, uh, you know, like if, even in ministries, even in, uh, in agencies, even in MDAs, and we say that you show us how much you are dedicating to environmental protection and environmental regeneration. Because now, as you are saying, it's an issue. It's a national issue. It's a big yes. concern. What is happening in Katonga is going to happen everywhere. You saw recently uh, some very and 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 you know unhealthy videos about the where where people are being given thrashes and being beaten in because of charcoal. Yeah. <laughs> so so this and and the demand for fuel is going to be is going to to go on because it's not going to end. The population is increasing. The, 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 of course, we may not be able to put power, the electric power, in everybody's house because everybody may not afford. So the use of uh, fossil fuel fuel will still be there. So the, the more we plant the trees, the better for everybody. So I think we would look at how to move it beyond just uh, and 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 we and we in and we have it as a demanded deliverable by by maybe. Uh, MDAs or even agencies uh, as they execute their, their core mandate. Uh, that is very true. For us on, uh, on the Scenario Bank side, we actually now subscribe to most of these other areas where we have these measurements or where this is measured. For example, we adopted the Social Environmental Performance Management mm. and we, we have audits running almost every year. The last one was 2021. We're waiting for the 2022 results. Mm. 2021, we scored as high as about 88%. Mm. And also as bank policy, every year, we have mm. to take out, as a scenario bank and as a group, we have to take out 2% of mm. the previous year's net profit towards our corporate social responsibility, of which the environment is part of. Yes. Yes, this is something that we take care of as part of our assessment. Mm. We have sustainability as one of the 10 uh, initiatives or parameters on which we, pray, we measure our performance every end of year. Mm. So it is something that is part and parcel of the way we do our work now. Okay, beautiful. Mm. And, and I think it would be encouraged to be done in all other, you know, other players. And, yeah. and as you say, if we pick it, this as a national concern, and remove it beyond the Maitri initiative. Yes, it's good. They have driven it. They have, they have brought it out very aggressively. They need more than, they need our support. Now, Rio, Rio implementation. More than ever, yes. More than just, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the small uh, talks and, uh, uh, and, and functions we have here. Yeah. OK. Yes, there's a question here. What is the total amount spent on, spent on CSR with respect to your total profit? <laughs> the current year, yes, that is something I actually addressed. Yeah. We spend a total of uh, 2% of yeah. our net profit every year, the previous mm. year's profit, mm. and we take it back into CSR. Mm. Thanks, oh. Ismail, for your question. Is there any other? Uh, when and how do you hope to involve other regions more so the places outside the major cities? Mm. Uh, I don't know whether that is to you, General, but from the Senate Bank side, mm. our involvement in environmental is not limited to actually cities. Mm. As we all know, Senate Bank is country countrywide yeah. and largely in the rural areas. We mm. even a proper focus to ensure that we have more branches in the rural areas than in the urban areas. And our current CSR may, is looking at the communities where we are, the clientele mm -hmm. who we are dealing with. So it is countrywide, it's not focused somewhere around Kampala. Uh, yeah. 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 I, I, I think it's the same also with our ministry because our ministry is spread everywhere. It's not on, it's uh, spread in the countryside. Uh, and we, we, we have, uh, we are starting drives with the, even local governments to say local governments look, uh, don't just uh, uh, look at salaries and employment, but 
the environment is going and it's affecting us. So the local government and also uh, other people. Recently, we had uh, an initiative with the Rotary Club and uh, with other clubs which, uh, which are which are winning. The the other day, I got all the engineers in, from their engineering uh, engineers registration board, and I said, "You guys, you are the ones who make these fine no, fine fine structures and designs of the roads, but we need the environment." You, Yes. In the process of designing the good, for example, Nadia intersection, we yes. destroyed the environment. We need to restore the environment. So I got them out and we went out to tree planting on that intersection. So I think we, we, we need to be, uh, again, as you are saying, let's uh, it, we, we pull, pull it away from just being a city activity, but becomes a national activity. A national, yes, very true. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we, I don't know what the, uh, do we have any more? I think we. Yeah. There is another one from Maureen, mm -hmm. who are in charge of following up on the projects you have started in a particular place. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we, we normally, we, we rely on the local authorities. Uh, we, for example, recently our team, my tree initiative went with the honorable uh Kutesa in Zimbabwe and we planted, yeah. we planted a number of trees there so we depend on the local authorities to pick up the queue uh that because we can't be everywhere ourselves so we really depend on the local authorities to pick up the queue uh to be able to to, to, to sustain and even move, move beyond what we plant because we, when we come in, in, a, in a, for example we come and do it in an area we we can't we can't be there we, every time when we go to schools like we had uh, one of the other initiatives which we had which we started was uh, remember my, my re remembering your loved one who died of covid so we went to the schools and said we want you to be remembering your relative whenever you remember that relative plant a tree in memory of that relative but 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 still as i'm saying the local authorities, the local communities must be able to pick the queue to sustain what we put on the ground. It, we are still small, but we think we can we can we can move we can move mountains. We believe that we may we have started small but we can move move big big things we can move the rest of the country. All right. Yeah, there was another question around how can Senero Bank leverage uh, climate financing to address environmental challenges? Yes, actually, at the moment, we're in uh, discussions with various partners, mm -hmm. the European Investment Bank, and among others, on how we and the World Bank and how we can come in in terms of leveraging on climate finance. Mm -hmm. We've had uh, init some initial discussions with different partners and we're looking forward to get into this space okay yeah there were other questions and fortunately i cannot see them mm. there was uh, uh what is centenary bank's commitment and decision on supporting my tree initiative to plant half a million trees is the bank ready? Oh, yeah, well, you see, I think I've already said so. You that you are going to discuss this so they are you, in the in the bank leadership, and you see how we can uh, we, we, how, how, so you you have given us the time frame, and I, I hope that you come back to us to say now we are ready, but we again yeah. we have to be as with the, our environment is to say is that is the, is, the, is the timing right for us to plant these trees. Uh, so that they can survive yeah sure okay, yeah mm. there's another one thanks general edward and Didi joseph i'm humble request to senior bank is to take the initiative to schools for a good reading environment that's a good initiative that's and thanks for yes because yeah. currently much of what is being discussed with the uh, schools has been largely around financial literacy Mm. I'm trying to see how best they can manage the future in mm. terms of financial side. 
mm. emphasis on around uh, the environment has been largely the communities yes uh, and other partners and yes going to the schools will be a very good initiative yes mm. i think so this at the early age yes that would be a very good initiative mm. thank you dennis and and also i think again on the on the issue of the schools as they said teach the when you teach the child in early age you you know it will sink in it sinks in yes yeah if we make those children for example have believe in in the in the in the, in the necessity to have trees planted and to, to understand the benefit of the trees beyond just the tree shed where they stand i think will help a great deal because we'll have uh, very willing players should you know young young people young children especially children they are very willing players they can even influence the father when he goes home and says daddy i want to plant a mango tree i think the father will feel guilty not to provide <laughs> the seed <city. laughs> <laughs> so we, it's, not, it's not a bad idea really to yes to true. go through the school the school system yeah a good one thanks denis yeah general you have another question on your side Mm -hmm. No, not from me. Okay, because I don't see any other question this end. Mm. So then I think we are uh, we have had a good interaction. Unless you have some other things to for us, I just want to thank you very much um, uh, for the for this this very very beautiful engagement uh from from my side and i appreciate the bank uh, response uh, we are looking forward to working with you closely in partnership uh mrs ukarambi talked to me about uh sent me a whatsapp but i didn't see her on, online i don't know that she's listening in she had promised to be <laughs> listening in she's listening in actually oh, okay <laughs> yes she's listening yeah. in. so thank you very much for the interaction thank you very much for the uh accepting to be partners on this and uh, we really need to get more partners on board um if we are going to have our environment uh re regenerate re restored and also um get into the benefit of uh, restoring our tree cover which, which yes. is highly depleted in the country no thank you so much general uh as centenary bank sustainability is a major focus from our side let it be the environment, the social areas. We've seen how for several years we've been coming in on the cancer support. Yes. In the cancer run, the Zambia <laughs> hospital, mm. cancer place, and all these other places that we have gotten ourselves in, the church, the communities in which we are working. Mm. We really see sustainability as the only way forward mm. for our nation, our people, our, and even the globe at large. So. Right. we are willing to support we are willing to partner bring other partners on board encourage others to join and we'll be very glad to continue this journey together with you and any other partners in the successful sustainability of our continent thank you so much general and thank looking forward to further engagements yes. thank you very much thank you thank you too in the studio back to the studio are you still there, people, or you you left us on our own? <laughs> Hello. I think we sign off. I don't uh, see them coming back. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I, yes. Maybe we'll link up on. Uh, I don't. Are there, there, are there still people talking? I don't see. Now, there's a question from Ismail. Again, something we discussed with you earlier. Mm. Uh, 
uh, how is Centenary Bank prepared for the event launch happening at the Northern Bypass on 30th May? I think that one we did. Where we discussed it. Something yeah. that has just come up, so we'll discuss it throughout the week here. Yeah. We did earlier, yeah. Yes. Okay. So All right, thank you so much, General. People in the studios, are you still there? You logged off? I think it was, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, Junior. Thank you. Yeah. Nice evening.